these for all of our students rather than just hooks. Um, so it's much more organized, and I can't wait until next winter to not be tripping over the <laughs> students and this. Um, and the kids love them. They, 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 just, they feel like you know, they have a, an ownership piece, you know, their real space. Um, so that was a nice addition for our um, youngest kids in the building. Um, a lot of outdoor work happened, even though the weather hasn't been great. We did get a lot of new wood chips to soften up our playground area for spring, uh, which was much needed after the fall and winter. And um, the sheds were given a new paint job out there. You know, a lot of um, you know, peeling paint was out there. Kids go out into that area, near the bleachers and sheds during recess time. And you know, we just didn't want you know, somebody coming back with They are still working on the kitchen window. Um, we had a pretty significant issue with um, the window that was in place. There were gaps in it, um, a lot of cold air coming in. Dick did as much as he could prior to starting the replacement, um, trying to close up as much of that as possible. But um, what they're doing is they bricked in half of that area. Um, so that the pipes that go up through right next to that window won't prevent um, further gaps. Um, and because it's bricked, you know, it's further out so that there's no interference with the pipes. And then there's a, a half window that's still in there uh, that will be much more energy efficient and um, hopefully a little bit warmer in the kitchen as well because in the winter time, first thing in the morning is quite brisk down there. Uh, let's see, we did set the date for 6th grade ceremony as Wednesday, June 12th. I did not put that on school events, so I apologize for you folks to know. Um, that's Wednesday, June 12th at the American Legion, 6.30 p.m. And that's the night before our June school board meeting. Other sixth grade events that are coming up, uh, they have their lock-in next Friday night into Saturday morning. We've got a number of staff willing to come in and um, help facilitate some activities for kids. Um, I'll put in a couple of hours myself after a long week, but I'm looking forward to that. It's nice to do things with kids outside of the regular classroom, so I look forward to that. And their step-up day to Marshwood Middle School will be May 31st. Um, they spend four or five hours over there going through a, a schedule and having lunch. And, um, they're a little bit more excited. Uh, we had our visit with Principal Bourbon earlier this week and a couple of eighth graders. And the kids that came over did a nice job of answering questions. A really nice job. Uh, Principal Bourbon only had to follow up on a couple of their answers to clarify or correct some information that maybe they uh, misinterpreted the question or whatever. So the kids learned a lot from their visit. I think you know, that's the first time I think that's happened I think so too. from feedback from the teachers. So I think we're going to try to do that annually uh, to give those kids a chance to ask questions ahead of time. Uh, we have a Mother's Day poetry reading and tea today. Um, third and fourth grade uh, mothers were invited to come in at 9 o'clock. Um, each of the students had uh, practiced and some even memorized a poem to read aloud to the audience. And then um, all of the parents were invited back to the classroom. Um, it was set up nicely for you know, just a social tea and honoring mothers around Mother's Day. And state assessments begin next week. <laughs> so our kids will be exposed to um, you know what it's going to look like, some of the features that the online testing um, offers, and just get them familiar with what they're going to experience. And, uh, they're not doing practice tests or anything like that. It's just to make sure that they understand what they're going to actually experience once testing begins on Wednesday. So teachers are going to do some of that next week and really make sure that they answer the questions the kids have in front of the testing. The only other thing on my agenda for discussion is the middle school, actually two other things, the middle school board rep from Marshall Middle School. So we did get some feedback. Um, Principal Bourbon was great. He solicited um, a number of students. There were more than what I put in my report initially, and then some of them sort of thought about the commitment and backed out. So there were nine initial
initially, but there are six names that are interested in being a rep. So I just need some direction from the board on how to select someone. Do you want to uh, just add that to our discussion items? And, um, yeah. Sure. We'll discuss it under discussions. <laughs> get there. So we'll add, we'll add that on down. Well, under discussion items. Well, good. It's going to be, it's going to be perfect. It's coming right out. That's coming right out. Okay. <laughs> then, Don't go anywhere. <laughs> the only other thing is, um, I think later in the agenda, there's a couple of um, building mm -hmm. or financial yes. things. So we've sort of gotten to the point where those were our final big things. There have been a couple of other items that I've been looking into based on experiences throughout the spring, uh, looking for quotes and how much it would cost for different options. So we haven't received them yet, and they're not part of next year's budget. They're not on your list currently. So I just want a little direction from you folks whether to continue to pursue and bring those back for consideration in June, or if that's something that we should be doing uh, as we start the budget process for the next year. Um, one of them is the speaker system, the SAM system, uh, that you all have had experiences with and given me feedback about. Um, we've had a gentleman come in and do an in-depth study of what we have, um, looking at you know, all the different pieces of equipment, and has gone back and he started to put together an estimate of how to better our current system. Uh, he is going to come and look at our board that we have, which is in relatively good condition. Uh, the board that sits over in the corner for productions and concerts uh, that can change different speakers and that type of thing, different microphones that are being used. He thinks that's in good shape, but wants to do a little bit more in-depth look at it to make sure uh, that that doesn't need to be replaced. So he's building um, a quote for me so that I have that at least for the budget process. Um, and then the other item is um, something that came out of a discussion with the rec department. Uh, we're concerned about space for them this summer. They request a gym and a classroom, which we're you know, more than willing to provide them. But the gym floor is being redone this summer. We don't have a date on that yet. Uh, and obviously, we have teachers that come in and we need to clean the classroom and then give them sufficient time to go in and set up and prepare for kids. So, worst case scenario, the rec committee could be um, two or three weeks without a solid space in our building for all the kids that they have. Um, we have hallways available, we've got other little nooks and crannies, but it's not going to be conducive if the weather doesn't cooperate. So we started looking at different outdoor options, and Dick has been giving quotes on like an outdoor pavilion that we could put out near the ball field area um, with a cement pad, and it's a metal pavilion, not the nice wooden picnic area for those of you that you see. Um, and we're just looking into it as an option. It's something that we could use as a school, our PTO to do it for different outdoor events that we planned this year. Classrooms go out all the time to do experiments and have a place to sit and write, so it would be a great place for them to go do outdoor things and have a place to sit down and do some work as well. So just some direction from the board. Do you want me to pursue it for the June meeting and bring it back for your consideration, or um, wait until we talk about the budget process? Thoughts? And when you say, uh, we'll ask a question, so when you say for the June meeting... Um, the June school board meeting. Uh, yes, no, no, I understood that, but um, if you bring it up then, are you expecting something? Like expecting us to say, oh, we have enough money in the budget, let's do it? Or, or, or I, I don't... That's up to or, you. I would bring you the information. That, believe, right? It's not work-related, so it's not... Oh, it's more, it's whether or not to pursue getting the quotes. Which thing are we talking about? Well, you can put both, either. Right. The inside piece is equipment only. So it's 
you know, purchasing things. Mm -hmm. Outside, there is some work to be done, so it, it would be whether or not they could get it done you know, this fiscal year. Yeah, we would have to start the work before the end of June and, and do, uh, like the outside piece would be ordering ordering the material as well as doing the cement pad prior to the end of June. And we don't have any quotes on those, so we really can't act on them this evening if we wanted to. Well, do we then, have to have, does it actually have to start being done, or is it there needs to be payment made, uh, a commitment with, to do it? With, with the outdoor pavilion, I would say that the work has to be started um, prior to the end of June. As far as the sound system, we could purchase that as soon as it's approved. All right. Uh, I, I have a question on the on the outdoor pavilion. What is the size being considered? Um, we did get quotes on different sizes. Um, I think the smallest size was a length of twenty-eight to thirty feet by twenty to twenty-two feet. And then he went up, I think, up into the 40 foot range just to give us different price ranges. And that's, we have a very limited playground space, that, so that pad is going to take up a pretty big chunk, it sounds like. Yeah. There's, is that a concern at all? There's more than enough space. It would it'd be located up near the sheds behind where the current features are. Okay. So it's not really used so it's by not on yeah, it's not on the like it's not the part of there. Yeah. That's the site that we looked at. Um, the rec um, shed is over there next to it. So for their purposes it's easy access to their equipment. For us we have a lot of our younger groups that go up to that area to do outdoor um, science exploration type work. Um, so to have something right next to it instead of where kids can get distracted by the playground equipment um, to do some of the writing pieces that they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it would be hard to see the quotes then, or see what, what we're talking about in that figures. The concern is, is that it will be June before any action can be taken. That, that's the concern, and we have always been cautioned by the business administrator and the superintendent that June is too late to make a decision. It's pretty much what we've been cautioned to do. As you get closer, it certainly makes it more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. I, I absolutely love the idea of having that at our school, for sure. Um, I do feel like we have a lot of needs for the building, maintenance-wise, and upkeep, and um, I'm not sure how responsible it is for us to put money towards something like that when there are some significant issues that need to be resolved. As much as I think it would be so wonderful. I tend to agree. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wish we had this been a month earlier because it, it is obviously going to be used by the rec department, so it becomes a community asset, very much so. Um, it's going to be used throughout the year for outdoor classroom, as, as sort of as an outdoor classroom and stuff. So, so it sounds like it's a, a positive for the whole community, mm -hmm. but it also puts us in a, in a difficult position um, time-wise. I don't tend to disagree with yeah. you folks. It just it it wasn't even on my radar until I met with the rec committee and started brainstorming different ideas. And uh, I feel bad that all of this work is happening. We've got new teachers coming in there, so they're going to need a little extra time in their mm -hmm. classroom because they can fit in there. Uh, it's it's going to be a challenging year for them. Um, and they'll just start talking about some different ideas internally. So I can, uh, I'm asking just so that I don't put a lot of work into something, so I can back off on that if, because that's how I'm feeling. How do you feel about the sound system? So the sound system, the, 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 it was a bit, the idea was raised that all of the 
the media sound system that doesn't always go outside, right? Because uh, students' names are mentioned and other things during. Is that part of the problem, or is, no. it, is it more that we just don't have a lot of control? Of no, sound it's the sound system that up the there. Stage. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. oh, 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 yeah. oh, that yeah. sound yeah. system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the for the as we all learn. Oh, oh, this, yeah, this is something yeah. I think that we've all, we're all at least well, we know each other so about. Many you know, yeah. yeah, this is something that I'm thrilled. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't. I don't know why it wasn't it's brought just, up like. Ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, even really? during the meetings, our town meetings are constantly having problems with mm -hmm. microphones and, you know, something that would, should be pretty simple just always is just plagued with problems. So every meeting, without exception, there's a problem with that sound system. So, yeah. Do we have an idea, any idea of cost? Right. Ballpark? No. No, he came and you know, did a study and he's kind of been working on costs, he's researching the costs. We don't have any ballpark, I think if it's over 10,000, under 10,000, nothing like that. Should be a ton of stuff to replace though. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't think more than 10,000. Five maybe, but uh, I don't yeah. know what you need to do with that. But that could be quickly purchased. I mean, if we get the, if we get the quote for the next meeting, that can be pretty quickly discussed. All right, so, so you know, <laughs> wait a minute, they're, they're, they're having a conversation uh, just quietly between wait, themselves here. Yeah. Here for a moment, we'll just let them do that. What, I, what I'm going to suggest is that, is that we um, put this uh, conversation, uh, we table this conversation until after we've had our budget discussion. Just so we can sort of see where we stand and what we expect to stand at the end of the year. And then we can come back into this discussion. Does that make sense? Are people sure? All right. Anything else, Rich? That's everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the, uh, all right. So, so the next um, discussion is the. Uh, uh, well, it, we would be hearing from the Marshwood um, student reps from the high school. Uh, Nick did email and let me know, so I'm letting everyone else know that he is currently studying very hard for his AP U.S. History uh, mm -hmm. test, which is coming up tomorrow morning, I believe. And uh, Megan, as a senior, I'm sure has like <laughs> almost no time to herself at this point. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's uh, discuss a little bit um, the, um, the the middle school having a middle school rep or two, and what do people think about that? What are the thoughts? And how we, I think six is a few too many mm -hmm. to have. Yes. <laughs> I mean, unless they would like to take turns. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, split up the year or something? Yeah, one would be good for, you know, fine. Oh, each instance, yeah. Yeah, we don't need, yeah, we don't need six no. coming here for that, but. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, if they all want to, you know, because schedules happen and they may not be able to make every meeting, and, um, so they may want to take turns. I'm not sure if that's too much to manage as well. Yeah, I don't know either. Like to, um, it, it's great that we've had this kind of response. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's really encouraging. I don't think we really need to overthink it. Like, that your idea is good if, if more than one want to do this. Um, you know, those schedules are tight too. Um, Maybe we pair them? Maybe we not, they pair it up yeah. and do it? They might be more comfortable too if there are two of them. That's true. That's true. And then they rotate through? It's up to them how they want to work it. Sounds, a, sounds, fine, sounds, sounds fine to me. Um, we don't. You, you, we, we really haven't managed our yeah, reps right. I mean, a, yeah. in the past. So why right. start now? <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we'd need to see about. I mean, how could we reach out to their parents, or um, you know, to try to arrange it? Because obviously they're not going to get here. I, I, I think we would have to. I think we would expect the reps to handle that themselves with their parents. That if they said they would come to a meeting, that they would. 
responsible enough to find a way to come here. I think I think it's important for them to take that responsibility if they, if they want to. Yeah. These I'm just trying to help with not putting it all on the administration. You know, do they want to be oh, like, like give them my name or an, an email or something if they want to? You know, I'm just like, I don't know what's easiest. But, yeah, I think we can touch base with with the. Um, Principal at Marshall, and we can figure that out. I think pairing them up is a great idea. Rotate every every third meeting, yeah. um, and we can start in September. Give them something to talk about rather than yeah. 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 Oh yes. Yeah. So oh yes. Yeah. I, I think that's a great idea. That way you'll, you'll uh, be able to um, give all six of them an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. We can we can take care of the communication with parents. Make sure the parents know that they've volunteered. <laughs> 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 what? Okay. Again, I'm strongly responsible student would do that, but, but I'm just going to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently from another era. No, I mean, Especially as eighth graders, which they will be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Will oh be all of these will be eighth? Of course, because it's going to know. They might get a better oh, more of a warning than the night before, or the afternoon thereof. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's Maybe. appreciated. An email would do it, and if it's better to come from the board, that's fine too. But um, you know, as long as we just have sort of a warning communication. Yeah, I'm sure we can we can make a schedule and, and make it for the entire school year. That way, they'll know in advance, and, and if they need to trade off or make any changes, yeah. then then that's their responsibility. Thank you.
Everything went well. Uh, we had a couple of questions that I didn't know the answers to, which I would love to get answers. Um, teacher salaries were over by about $1,900. Yeah. That was due to um, longevity for a teacher that wasn't properly being done, so we had to update the contract oh, that yeah, for so. graphics longevity. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then the 3000 for testing, is that because we're, it's upcoming and we just haven't done it yet? It's, un, it's not been spent. Testing services. Uh, 2210. Mm -hmm. Where is that? I wasn't sure whether I know that our testing has changed throughout mm -hmm. the year, so I wasn't sure whether we, we don't longer yeah. pay for that. Is that the new one? Is that, mm -hmm. that was probably budgeted for, I'm guessing, Yeah. probably budgeted for new one yeah. assessments. Which we don't and, Yeah, before I got here, there was a decision made to not continue with that. So that will not be expected. It won't be expected this year. Got it. Okay, thank you. Um, those are my two questions. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it was positive. We have a few new members on the budget committee, um, and we are looking for another member of the budget committee. We had another um, person resign from the board. So if anyone knows anyone who might be interested or Interested, please um, contact someone from the budget committee, uh, me or someone else. Um, all the email addresses are on the website. On the website. Um, but yeah, so you know, other than just some little explanations of you know things that people weren't quite sure of because they they've never talked about them before, it went very well, and you know we have a hefty surplus, so there's nothing to be concerned about, and yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions for Emily? All right. Uh, next up is the first reading of apparently all the D's, all the um, the fiscal the fiscal budgeting uh, policies to be for review because it's been so long. It has been a while since we reviewed them. And I don't think this is is this like the complete list or is this just it does I think it's just. A, I think she was going to do like half in this okay, month and half like in the next month. Okay. Is this so quite a few of them? Yeah. So <laughs> it does look like half. Yeah, I think it's it about half. Brain is shutting off. I didn't see any red flags or any concerns about these policies. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I didn't either. I, I did wonder. So, so do do we hold a bond on the treasurer? You know, I'm actually looking into yeah. that. We're, we also are reviewing the Summersworth policy, mm -hmm. so we're looking into that one okay. as we speak. So it looked, it, 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 apparently we're supposed to be yes. uh, yep. holding the bond yes. the treasurer. And one of the things I wanted to throw out to the board, um, on the, uh, it came up as I looked at policy um, DFA, Revenue from Investments. I, I know that we don't actually, I don't believe that we formally invest. It sits in a, an account of, of some sort of earns yeah. like you know, 0.2%. Yes, you, so you have a regular checking account, and then you do have like yeah. an investment account. So it's separate from your checking that earns it's it's really like not a that much. Or it's more like a savings. savings. And then yeah. the money gets transferred into your checking account. Okay. And, and I, 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 you know, and I, you know, not that I want to make the, the, the treasurer's job any more difficult, but I wondered if, as a board, we can think about this, not if we decisions, if we wanted to have a treasurer make an annual report. I think that there are probably, it took me about four years to understand that the treasurer actually did anything. <laughs> and they do, I mean, they, they sign checks, they do, they move funds around, and they, they actually do things. And um, it's not Katie, it's a, it's, it's a resident who's elected. Yeah, it would be nice to understand that. It is with my guy, you know what I mean? I'm you do requesting it. it. <laughs> it's not her just doing it on her own. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you don't do a lot of it. <laughs> I just wanted to say that Katie's not the treasurer. No, I'm yeah, not. That's what yeah. uh, I meant to say. Oh, well, let's think about that, and, and um, uh, we can check with the treasurer and see if they'd uh, like to come in and give us an idea of what they do and how they work with Katie, mm -hmm. just so we get a sense. Yeah. I think it would be nice for the board to know. Yeah, yeah I agree. Let's see, if let's see if that can work out. All right, so uh, we've had our first reading. We don't have to take any... Uh, Actions tonight on that. It sounds like the next half. Yeah, they'll be first will be the next, next one. Packet. Yeah. And we'll take action on these. 
All right, and then the second reading of student conduct and uh, student conduct discipline that we looked at last time. Um, this would be, are there any questions, concerns? We will be taking action on them this evening. meeting is the 15th 
of May. It will be held at the Rollinsford Public Library down behind the mills, in, in the lower mills. It's in the community room, so you might have to enter through that other door rather than the library. Community room has a separate door. I believe the meeting's for six o'clock. Oh, six o'clock. Okay. Is that correct? A Wednesday. Yeah, it should be open. It's open. Okay, okay, never mind. Wait, wait it's checked, and, and, and I think it's open. And, and if not, um, oh, and and I have double checked with uh, Brian Peller, who was on the committee. He will make sure doors are unlocked. People can get in easily, and the room will be set up with a table. Enough seating. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's good to have Brian on the committee. <laughs> so, other things you have other one. Uh, uh, I agree that it's a great group. I think the first meeting was really productive um, and just wanted to add that we're also going to meet in June with the Summersworth Withdrawal Committee to see if we can collaborate and work together um, to come out with a solution that works for both of us um, easily uh, just to see where they're at and have a good discussion. I think that will also be very productive because we'll know where we stand and sort of what we have to consider moving forward. That is June 3rd, I believe at 5.30. Uh, and that will be held at Summersworth High School C at the CTC Center. CTC. So we're looking, we are looking at making progress. We have some great folks helping us along, so that's appreciated. That's great. Any questions on, on that at this point? So Summersworth was um, was willing and wanting to meet as well. Uh, that's right, Bob. You said you had some comments to make on this as well. Yes, I, I, I met with uh, obviously I'm meeting with both committees, uh, and they were uh, as eager as your committee to get together and have a discussion, just a casual, open discussion on on what things you might be thinking about, what things they might be thinking about, and, and uh, exploring some different. Uh, obviously, you're not going to go to one meeting and make a decision, but what decisions could be made, what are some of the options that could be discussed. Uh, and I, I want to echo that you've got a wonderful, uh, diverse committee, uh, and so do they. So it, it's nice because there's a lot of community members and, and a good variety of, of people on the, on the committee. So um, I think it'll be a great meeting. Okay. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, uh, that's the withdrawal committee update. So now we're going to talk about the uh, front step quotes. Quote. Quotes, we have two. We have two from the, for the front steps. People have a chance to, to, to look at those. Yes. So, discussion, questions, comments, uh, thoughts. We have a great escape room, certainly much more in depth. The what? The first. The first. Oh. First. Yes. The, second. the Great Escape was more in depth, and also I liked the size of the landing at the top. Did you yeah. notice it's only a top step yeah. in the second quote? I, I noticed that right away. Yeah. It became an actual uh, plat more platform like thing rather than just the, the, the width of a step. Yeah. No, I like that a lot. One question I had about that one though, mm -hmm. was that it doesn't seem to include railings. Uh, uh, I have that note right here, the railings. If I can add a couple of things and, and Rich fill in the blanks. Uh, I met with Rich and Dick and, and went over the quotes. A couple of differences. The uh, Shea Landscape Design quote, um, they had put right in their quote that if there's additional uh, materials or blast, I mean, they don't know what's in the middle of that thing, so there may be an additional expense on top of that. So that was one thing. As far as the railings go, the existing railings, I understand, can be utilized, so that's why they're not identified in the quote. Um, so that shouldn't be an added expense. And uh, the recommendation from Dick and, and Rich was the first quote of the Great Escape Cutting and Stonework. It was slightly more, but with the kind of unknown in the, in the quote or, or, or removal on the other one and the size and the quality. Of, of what was being put in, that was their recommendation. Is there anything I missed? Yeah. That was, he was really concerned that they couldn't give us a firm quote by just looking at it. They were, they were concerned. 
concerned. They didn't know how much work was going to be removing it. That's where they put a clause in there mm -hmm. saying that the price could increase depending on what they found when they needed to remove. So that's why I didn't feel uncomfortable with it in the first one. Yeah, yeah and, I, and it was the one that jumped out at me just from the size of the wall. First of all, having a place, a place you stand and not fall off a step when you come up to the door. Yes. Uh, it, it's a three foot difference, and that's a yeah. That's, uh, that's important. important. That's important, I think, too. So, so, so I was I was leaning toward great escapes myself. Yeah. Other I'm other thoughts from board members? I move to accept the form from great escapes. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right. Uh, all, uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All right, that carries, and that means we can get, we will encumber that and get started. They can be told that they can get started on that work as soon as they can get, well, obviously, we can't do it until school is out. Yeah. June 17th, first year. Excellent. <laughs> or they will be. They will be. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the next one is the cupola. It looks like we only got one quote, and I know it's probably been hard to get quotes. And I noticed the. Um, Does anybody need a hard copy? No, it's not. It was a separate email. Yeah, I said. So it. Oh, it was in a separate email. I've got hard copies here. Thank you. I've never seen And and oh, all right. And, and this time we'll ask for uh, Dr. Gadon's chair and Principal Hartford to speak to us before we open it again. I did notice that the date on this was from last October, and but but it's still this quote is still holding, correct? So there was an update. Do you have the updated quote? Uh, on, on the update that was was still they still had the October data. Oh, yeah, I don't okay. think they changed the. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> that, that's, it, it is an updated quote. It, it is an updated quote. Yes, it's yes. Re, it's a it's a current date. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So initially that was the quote we got back in October. Um, it's increased due to the increase in cost of materials and the increase in gas because of going back and forth. But it didn't increase significantly. 21,000 was the original. So that was good, yeah. Okay. Question I have, and, and you may not know. I mean, they talk about repair of water, but they really mean replacement, don't they? I mean, replacing. Yeah. Yeah, the wood needs to be replaced. Uh, replaced. Okay. A little wood putty. Wood putty's not going to help. That. <laughs> no. um, this is something that. Uh, been on our radar for Tom, Tom's going to tell us exactly how many years. Too long. Too long. Um, well, when we have chicken wire holding those pieces together, that's when you realize it might be it might be a problem. <laughs> Plus, every year with more. I mean, we're in New England harsh winters. You know, it's not going to get any easier. The wood is already rotting. And there's a lot up there, I would imagine, that could be salvaged. That may not be completely done away with, but the more other stuff goes on it, it's just everything else will start to as well. So, and it's, it's, frankly, it looks dangerous. So. I think we've just popped it up this quite a bit. We've got that I just want to reiterate. I'm sorry. Can I make a motion then? <laughs> Second. All right, we have a motion from Andrea to accept the, the quote from uh, Rosie Frame and Finish. Rosie? 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 Okay, Frame and Finish. And we have a second. Uh, any further discussion? Wait. Just, just point yeah. of clarification. Uh, this is in your uh, budget for next year. It, it, did you want us to try to start this work prior to the end of the year? Um, that, that would be my preference. 
But um, I mean, the end of the but, school year. Yes, we would have to we would have to start the work right after. Well, in June. The contractor is available June seventeenth. I wonder if they say this would take fourteen days. Fourteen days, depending on weather. Prime time. Uh, with oh, well, uh, will there will there be uh, contention between the front step step people and the cupola people? <laughs> well, well, I, we, I know we'd have to work that out. Well, I, don't, I don't think. Right. That. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't. I think we can. Do don't stage. drop anything. So, so yeah. as, as a further discussion, <laughs> I feel strong. We, we have enough money in the budget. I feel we have been talking about this for so long. I think it's safety. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, uh, the, yeah, so we're going to, so, so, um, thank you for that. We will, so we, so we have a motion on, on, on the, on the floor for accepting this quote, which we will continue, and then we'll have a motion to, um, start it. Hmm? So, it's, it's okay. so, so we're going to complete this vote to accept this quote. Uh, so, um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And then a motion to... Um, Make a motion to start this in June, please. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Right. That will be wonderful to see work starting on both of those projects. All right, so we have just added about $50,000, a little bit more, about $55,000 uh, to be encumbered. We still have a, we still have a very, we still have a very healthy, um, we still have a very healthy balance. Um, somewhere in the high 300s. Um, so let's talk a little bit more now about the sound system. Well, we, the only thing that bothers me is that we don't have any idea. It's like complete, complete unknown, I guess. But can you think under ten thousand dollars? Yeah. Are we just saying yes, Rich? We think we can do it. We can go get a quote, and then he can bring it in June, and we can. Or you're getting a quote. I would yes. rather say that we encumber a certain amount. So you can always do a not, not to exceed number, and then yeah. if it exceeds yeah. that, we do it and bring it back yes. in June, and not, you know, okay. so more than that. So, so we could say we would exceed, you know, we could say let's encumber, let's say not to exceed $10,000. And then he would still bring back the quotes, obviously, next time to you so that you could get a, you know, real number, a real quote cost. Mm -hmm. But you're thinking it could be done under five, Well, the equipment, I don't think the, some of the equipment is fine. I mean, you know, we've had it for meetings, we've had it for production. sort of made the payment and we have the money already set 
and we've like signed the contract. I think that we're we have ready to show, but you have to be careful. Yeah. You know, they don't want to see things like you purchasing books that you know you're not going to use right. in this school year for next. You know what I mean? They know they're right. for next year. So you have to be careful of what you're you're buying and so ordering. Right. Sound equipment being purchased with a week left of school is a little tough. Oh, right. right. I mean, purchasing things this time of year in May, we, we could legitimately say we're going to utilize that for end of year activities. Right. Right. Uh, when we're doing it the last week of June. <laughs> well, well, we have also just saved ourselves um, twenty-two thousand dollars from next year's budget. Right. So it's something we could choose to do if, in July. In July. It should, should we choose to do that? Something that the other thing, but again, we have no idea of cost on this is the outdoor classroom, which would be used immediately this summer. If, if, if the work could be done and be used. But we have no idea of the cost of that. So, um, so, so if we actually had quotes on that by June and knew it could, and, and it could be completed by, by um, sports, I don't know, I don't know if that's going to cost it. But if, knowing it would be used this summer, would that be something that they would not look at askance at? Or would they still look a little bit askance at? So you're taking it out of this year's budget? Yeah, the outdoor contract. If it wasn't going to be completed until, I don't know, until August, I said, because that's next year. Stretching I, gotcha. yeah. I think my recommendation yeah. would yeah. be that the, the outdoor classroom, I think I would recommend that we wait on that. Uh, I think that that's pushing the envelope a little bit as far as, as audits and budgets go. Uh, as far as the sound system, uh, if you're comfortable with, with a not to exceed number and, and allowing Rich to go forward with getting the best quote you can and, and purchasing that immediately without a ceiling, I mean with that ceiling on there, um, then we could order that reasonably in the next week or two um, after we got the quotes. Mm -hmm. And I think that that would be acceptable. How long did he say for him to get us back quotes? But it would be the June meeting when they're accepted by the board. So. Except that you're approving the encumbrance right now. now. So yes. it comes yeah, right tomorrow. Why. Yes. So yeah. the money would be set aside tomorrow okay. for the, the yeah. $10,000. Okay. So then Rich would just go buy it, not bring the money back. If, if you were to approve, approve a not to exceed. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which I have. Well, okay. motion? Yes. I make a motion that we a lot of amount up to the ceiling of $10,000. Obtain a quote and purchase the sound system to be replaced for this. It's quite the motion. I'm not sure I'm done with that. I think I'd like to have a little. <laughs>
next week. And those are all in July. Um, that they've been shared. So we think August or June? June is well, August. August would be better. August would be better for people. That's what people out here, you know, you, your vacations, all those things, what people have to look at. Yeah. Right. So you want to skip July because the weather is right? Or are we trying to do it? Well, I guess July would be okay if we just have that one other meeting. Because we, we usually do not have a regularly scheduled school board meeting in July. I prefer like the second half of July, the first half of August. The second yeah. half. I'm in that yeah. area myself as well. I'm not available the week of the 21st, the 27th of July, but I could do that next week. The 28th of July? About the first week. How about the second week in August? Does yes. that mean February 9th is good? Well, I was just waiting to find out when it is the end of vacation. Oh, yeah. Hopefully he's playing yeah. ahead and say, no, I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we get into the... What are we talking about? Second, second week in August? Yeah. We have, a, we have a school board member, a school board meeting the 8th. Wednesdays and uh, yeah, uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays. 
So the 10th, the 11th, the 17th, the 18th, the, the 24th, and the 25th were dates I just threw out for them. And, she, and again, they're not meeting until next Wednesday, so. Okay. So we'll see what they throw back on us. All right. Um, I think we've taken. I believe that brings us down to the uh, to the end of our agenda. So the uh, the next the, our next meeting is June thirteenth. Um, a quick question. Absolutely. I heard um, a rumor, and I'm not sure whether it's true that um, Archwood is considering eliminating uh, late start Thursday so they can. Has anyone else heard a tale of this? Mm -hmm. So they can what? Mm -hmm. End school early, earlier, no? No. Nothing official about that? Oh, end no. school earlier this year? year? No, the date's already been set. We didn't have enough snow days to yeah. change anything. Yeah. Nope. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, no, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it would have been a temporary thing had it happened. Yeah. Just, yeah, just the way we sometimes extended our yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, it'd be nice to see as many board members as possible at the June 12th um, sixth grade recognition. I, I know that it's sometimes very difficult to get, and we have our own board meeting the, the next night. So I'll be there. I'm usually, you'll, you'll be there for a reason. You'll be sitting with parents. You'll be sitting with parents. <laughs> so emotional. Wow. Wow. Well, that's all right. All right, so enough. the school events are also listed. How is Teacher Appreciation Week going? It's almost over. Because, you know, we can't appreciate them all year round for having things. <laughs> I was going to bring a request for gym memberships for all staff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so thought, sure. Yeah. That would be so fun. <laughs> and subs? And subs. <laughs> we have eaten well. <laughs> well, I'm sure that everyone is it. I'm sure that many folks have seen the good work there. Margaritas and over treated us to Taco Tuesday. Nice. change over in Marshwood um, in terms of how we do special ed over there or how we administer it over there? I'm wondering because in the paper there is an ad for a, an additional special ed person for half time for RGS, half time for Marshwood. I'm wondering, because it wasn't in the March budget that was proposed. No, it's no. our budget. It's, it's our it, teacher. That's here. our budget. That is, that is a teacher that we hire, and, and it's simply, um, we have a special ed teacher here at RGS. Right. And um, when our students started going to Marshwood, mm -hmm. we reapportioned that teacher's time so that they would have time to oversee their transition to Marshwood, and also oversee, and, and be sitting on IEPs and make sure that they're following New Hampshire's requirements. So is, she, is it a... SAU person or someone who's actually no, going to be No, it is working? an RGS. So it's an, an additional employee. staff member. No, no. So oh, we had a staff member know. leave and we're replacing that staff ah, member. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. Nancy? Nancy Dion. I just have a quick question. On the cupola, you didn't, when you made your motion, you didn't say how much the uh, contract was for? Oh, uh, yeah. It's a 22 .5. Thank you. Sorry about that. Comments, questions, concerns, compliments. Woohoo! <laughs> Tracy. Thank you all very much. Uh, we are going into non public. Uh, we made a motion to go, uh, 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 to go into non public for um, the <laughs> So moved. Motion is made. Second. 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 Second.
Roll call vote. Roll call vote. Sorry, roll call vote. Judy Nelson. Yes. Tom Kuhn. Yes. Emily Lee. Yes. Andrea Anderson. Yes. Eric Cavanaugh. Yes.